Okay, insulin now I'm back with our uh, little uh, EL wire test. Uh, as you can see, I've thrown a, a loop of uh, just regular EL wire in here. Um, I've got the EL tape, not really laid out very much, uh, but in the top. Um, and I also have a piece of um, the, the sheet sitting in the hard drive bays, or one of the hard drive bays up here. Uh, I, I don't have the bottom bays in here. This is a NZXT 530 um, case, nice big old case, so we can see kind of what what kind of light you can expect in the EL wires inside something this size. Um, obviously, ATX or Mini ITX will be easier to light with this stuff, but uh, a lot of people have the mid tower to full tower size. So um, this one also from a previous build, I have a NZXT. Hue thrown in there. Those are the uh, RGB LED strips, uh, change of color, change of brightness, blah, 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 all that jazz. Just to kind of give us a, uh, a comparison to kind of see what you can expect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill those lights. Um, so we've got the PSU running, uh, bad camera and light coming in behind me. I tried to block out as much as I could, but I don't have much stuff to do it with. Uh, so we're going to, um, first off, give the, uh, the Hue just to kind of show you what, what would normally happen with LEDs. I mean, this is a, a good long strip. Actually, it runs around the case and back um, all around the bottom and, and across the top. Uh, but you can see it's pretty bright inside. Um, let's see, uh, different color, different color, different color. And somewhere in here, and I can't see because I don't See in the dark, um, brightness is the first one. So let's go back off like that. Brightness, so this thing can go, okay, that's low. That's bright, brighter, brighter. I think that's the brightest. So you can see that's quite a bit of light. Um, if you have something in there, you're, you're gonna see it. Um, no doubt about it. Uh, but I do like these just because they, they do get pretty bright and you can control it because I, I like white lights and I like them on low because I don't want to be berated by my computer when I'm trying to play a game. So I've always liked these little hues for that. Um, but let's go ahead and turn that off. And what we're going to do, i got to open the door up for this. Um, and I'll put it back on once I get everything in. Uh, you can see that the, the sheet right there, um, I've got the regular EL wire right here in the middle. I didn't really space it around because I just kind of want to give you an idea of of what sort of brightness you can expect from this stuff. Um, you can't see it, but there's EL tape up here, uh, the whole loop that I had. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and power on. This is the sheet and the tape. Um, so you can see the sheet's on, the tape's on. Um, I guess I could move that back a little farther to kind of give you a better idea. Um, but now well, this is actually brighter than I thought it would be. Uh, I threw this in my case uh, earlier um, and really did not get much light out of it. The, the tape seems to be pretty decent at light, um, but the wire, not so much. Let's throw the door on that. I want to see if that was the case any. Sorry, guys, you gotta hate me because of the phone, but Okay, so yeah, the sheet does throw some wire or some light um, kind of around, but you'll notice that, uh, you know, it's, it's lit up inside, but not near what the LEDs could accomplish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw those on real quick. Okay, there's the LEDs with the EL lighting on too. So, I mean, you can see that the, the difference in, in light that these things put out is amazing. Uh, the EL stuff is just going to give you a little bit of a glow. Uh, it's kind of cool around the edges, um, uh, but beyond that, it's not going to light up your system. You're not going to you're not going to be able to read uh, the labeling on your your blocks or on the side of a of a GP or anything like that. It's going to be very very uh, dim compared to what you'll get out of a strand of LEDs. Now, if you don't, aren't looking for a lot of light, okay, there's the, the EL wire in on that too. Let's get some focus. Um, you can see that the freaking power LED almost drowns it out. Um, 
So it's, like I say, it's, it's light that it doesn't really light up the case. It lights up where it's at. Uh, would be kind of cool, um, say, uh, and this is where I thought of using it, was uh, the Fantex, uh, the, the Primo, the Top Dog, the big one, um, where they have the, uh, the LED strip on the edge. Um, this tape, I think, would be perfect for something like that. I've actually got a uh, Antec P380. Uh, that has a gap with a panel over the top that kind of mimics something like that And I think that would be awesome uh, It's a way to put off a little bit of light to light up that area But it's not going to drown out uh, The case it's not going to light the whole side of the case. It's going to light that gap up. That's what this stuff I think is going to be best for um, So that's kind of give you let me, uh, let me throw the this is, is uh, three pieces of EL going and then let's throw the LEDs back on just to I mean, seeing it here for, for me looking at it, it it's not as big of a difference um, as what's showing up on the camera, but uh, but it is still a difference. Uh, you can definitely tell that the, the LEDs light up the case a whole lot more um, rather than the EL. The EL is just kind of right there. It's actually like sticking a neon sign inside of a bright room. Uh, but if you needed something, you know, you wanted to line the edge of your window with it or uh, run around your your cages or uh, some soft underglow underneath uh, say an SSD or something like that this stuff would be perfect it it would it would keep the light right there instead of uh, throwing some LEDs underneath it and having light bleed out and go whatever direction the LEDs going um, this stuff just a little strip of it, it will will put a, a glare out underneath it and not really go that far so it'll have the, uh, the under light look of it but uh, hopefully not drown out everything else uh, so I hope that's been helpful uh, I'm still playing with this stuff trying to figure out what's best what's not uh, how useful this is going to be like I said this is really going to factor in on my next build um, with the, the Antec case just because I think it's it's a perfect spot for it I want to have LEDs on the inside to light up my components and stuff because I think that's the better way of doing that but as far as actually just um, illuminating a, a bridge in a case or a gap or something like that I think well, I have nowhere to put that um, I think the EL stuff if you can get past the uh, the noise of the transformer that this thing geez this thing's loud um, oh that's a lot better um, this would be really neat in a few spots here and there um, just because of the glow, not so much the light though. So that's pretty much everything. Um, man, this thing is a, it's a good camera, but eh. Um, just kind of wanted to give you an overview. Uh, I am going to post a link, hopefully in, in this little uh, blurb about EL, about uh, this com a company called Adafruit. Uh, that's where I got the, all this EL stuff. Some of you may know them from uh, like Arduino and Raspberry Pi stuff. Uh, they've got some instructional videos on it um, as far as uh, like the soldering and stuff and, and all that jazz. They've also got a lot of kits that, that uh, I really want to get into uh, for different light flashing, blah, 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 this and that, different uh, modes, uh, which would be more of a Arduino Pi kind of stuff. So that might be a little more than, than most people were looking for in their case. Uh, at first, I really just want the, the light um, in a certain way. So, But that's always something to think about. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions, just give me a, uh, drop me a line on here, and uh, I'll see if I can answer it. Um, and if you want, you know, I don't know, to see if it's what it's like hooked up to the 5 volt, to see whatever, uh, you know, hey, Dave, uh, shove it into this and see what it looks like. Uh, if I can do it, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Um, like I said, I've, I've thrown it in this case and I've thrown it in my personal case and just to get an idea of what you can do with it and that's kind of what I'm trying to show you all. So, uh, you know, if, uh, if there's anything else, just let me know. Uh, see you later, guys.